Hey guys, what is going on? This is iAppleGeek. I'm here to help you understand your everyday tech one video at a time. And today I want to show you how to downgrade from iOS 13 back to iOS 12 because iOS 13 right now is in its beta stages. And if you watched my installation video, you would have known that it is extremely unstable. There's a ton of bugs. Even the features will be different by the time it's available to the public. So if you have already upgraded to iOS 13, you might be looking for a way to get back to iOS 12. If you followed my installation video, you should have a backup made of your device on iOS 12. If you do not, this process will erase everything on your device, which is why backing up was so important this time around. Hopefully you do have a backup. If you do, we can go ahead and continue with this process. All right, so this process is quite simple. It's basically an iTunes restore. So if you know how to do that, go ahead and just do that and it'll take you back to iOS 12. But if you don't, I'm here to help you step by step. First, you are going to need a computer to connect your device to. And it doesn't matter if it's a Mac or Windows, this should work on both. A quick side note here, if you're watching this in the future and you've updated your Mac to macOS Catalina, you will not be using iTunes for this process, you'll be using Finder. But the process in general is pretty much the same. But first things first, you are going to need the IPSW for your device for iOS 12. I will have that down below. The website is going to look something like this with a little penguin. Uh, go ahead and just come through here and find your device, select what, what device you have. For me, it's going to be the iPhone SE. Download the latest version available for your device. Now, if Apple ever stops signing this in the future, this process will no longer work. But for the time being, this will get you back on iOS 12. So once you do have that file, we can go ahead and open up iTunes. Connect your device to your computer via a lightning to USB cable. If it asks you to open up your device and unlock it to trust the device, to trust this computer, be sure you select it and your device should be able to show up inside of iTunes. If not, just unplug your device, replug it, and it should show up in a menu like this. Now I have tested this, the check for update button does not work. So you cannot preserve the information that you have on iOS 13. You must restore back to iOS 12, which means it will delete everything. So once you've given access uh, for your computer to connect to your phone, it will not allow you to restore the device if you have Find My iPhone turned on. So if you want to turn that off, go into Settings, go to your name up here, hit Find My, hit, go to Find My iPhone, and turn that off. It's going to ask for your Apple ID password. And once you put that in, Find My iPhone should be completely off. If you didn't have this on in the first place, don't worry about it. But if you did, go ahead and just turn that off. Now you should be able to restore inside of iTunes. Now if you're doing this on a Mac, you want to hold down the Option key. If you're doing this on a Windows, hold down the Shift key. And then inside of iTunes, click the Restore iPhone button. It's going to allow you to select the IPSW you downloaded. Uh, just navigate to where you downloaded that. Click on it. Click open. It's going to erase and restore your iPhone to iOS 12.3.1 and verify the restore with Apple. So just go ahead and hit restore. So this is going to take a quick minute and I'll be right back when this is done. All right. So once this process has completed, you'll be booted back to the setup screen on your phone where you can set up your device as new or restore from a backup, whether you have that in iCloud or here in iTunes. I'm going to go ahead and just set this up real quick to prove to you that I am back on iOS 12. All right, here we are. We are now back on the home screen. I'm going to go to settings, scroll down to general, about, and here we are, iOS 12.3.1. So guys, that's how you downgrade back from iOS 13 to iOS 12. Very simple process, just like before. If you ever plan on going back to an iOS 13 beta or any iOS beta, make sure you make that backup in iTunes or iCloud or both before you proceed. Thanks for watching, everyone. Till the next one. Peace.